<laughs> That's fine. Okay. okay. So, you're going to do some honey tasting. Okay. We're going to start from the right to the left. The first one I want you to try is bamboo honey. Bamboo honey? Yep. Just take the toothpick, tilt the jar a bit, get a nice little bit of honey wow. on it. This one I feel like has been used a lot. Yep. The one that makes me think, ooh, look at that glob yep. right there. Just twirl it a bit. That way it don't um, do enough. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, next one here is buckwheat. Buckwheat honey. You will either love it or you'll hate it. There's no in between really for buckwheat. Now I feel a certain risk. Buckwheat. It tastes almost like molasses. Yep, molasses, and you sort of get a hint of like a farm taste. Yeah, like I, I'm I'm kind of thinking, you know, Lancaster area, shoe fly pie, kind of want to visit my grandparents that area, but uh, I don't mind it. It doesn't taste much like honey, but I like it. This first one, well, this next Third one, one yeah. is... I'm read that there. Oh. Some Native American tribes used pen stems as medical remedies, harvested exclusively at monocreage, seed production, the penostem beard tongue? Yep. Okay. So... I got this from Charlie Vorsack and his wife at the Western Beekeepers Meeting of PA, and they said it tastes nothing like they had before, huh. and so, and it tastes completely different from what I've had. All right. So I'm genuinely interested. Okay, this one looks a bit. It's a lot lighter. Look, light, yeah, look at that light yellow. This is almost clear compared to the other two. Mmm. That one doesn't hit you right away, but that's really sweet. Yep. I like it, but that doesn't feel too strong at the same time. Yep. I like all these so far, though I think that one is not, the first one's my least favorite so far. Weird. Okay. Alright, I'll let you dispose of this other one. Thank you. All right, and this one looks very fancy. This one, I was, I had a coworker who went to Italy, and she bought honey. Originally, it was going to be her, for her, and she then said, "I don't like it at all," so she gave it to me. <laughs> and this is chestnut honey. Mele di Castagno, Castagno, Castagno. Castagno, Mille de Castagno. I don't know if I'm butchering that or not. Some Italian honey, chestnut honey. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, this is a little European honey, a little Mediterranean honey. I see. We do not like have a fan. No. It's <laughs> nasty, man. Yep. So from what I've been able to tell with this one. This is going to be like the buckwheat honey for most people. I like the buckwheat. I mean, the buckwheat what didn't taste that much like honey, but I liked the taste. I actually, I think, I think for me personally, it's uh, torn between that and this, um, the beard tongue. I like the beard tongue. I, I honestly, I liked all three. They all had very distinct styles, uh, very distinct tastes. So, not all honey is the same. Obviously, depending on, I guess, how you take care of your bees. Yep. And, I harvest it. And everything. also what what plants are in the area for them to forage forage off of. Okay, what what flowers they're obtaining nectar from and pollinating. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Well yes, um sadly the the Italian chestnut one, despite my heritage, was uh the my least favorite. I did not like that at all. <laughs> but then again I think if you like chestnut you might like it. Um I, I don't care for chestnut, but I do like this hunt. The chestnut honey. I could see you putting that, maybe like on some toast or something. Maybe. Something like that. So. <sighs> I should. Thank you. So, yep. I guess that was a little random Merlin the Mighty honey test, uh, but I'm going to put this up as a separate video, but in conjunction with watching Ja, uh, a.k.a. Gimli, with his honey production with his bees. But wait, i got to taste your honey to compare. Okay, just a moment. All right, just one second, guys. We got it. I got a shot. Right. And this is some of your honey. 
yep. which I have tried before, but I want to do a little taste just to compare. Your honey is almost like tart compared to some of the other ones. Yep. But you know what? I don't know what it is. It tastes like the least processed to me. Maybe because you really aren't doing anything extra. It's very natural, mm. but I really like it. And as far as most of these other ones, they don't do anything different than what I do. Huh. Interesting. So it really is all the regional kind of thing that, yep. that really handles a difference. Okay. Well, your honey is still delicious. Thank you. Oh, yes. I always ask for it. <laughs> and it also changes year by year, too. You know, I've noticed that. Sometimes it's sweeter than other years. Yep. Cool. cool.